uh, well we try to understand todrow's approach to the study of narrative so we try, we understood that it was different from the new criticism which was predominant during that period in american universities and we try to establish the difference between both these approaches this particular structuralist approach to the study of narratives was influenced by russian formalism so in privileging and schematizing plot no i mentioned that he follows aristotle's poetics in the study of plot and he gives priority to plot that privileges no gives privilege to plot and he schematizes you no know, scheme means he establishes the proper scheme of the plot as we know uh, with reference to aristotle as well the different stages in the development of plot exposition rising action climax denouement falling action etc so similarly he schematizes plot and in doing so todrow sh also shows the influence of the russian formalist so we understood that there was aristotle's influence on him at the same time uh, he admits or he shows the influence of russian formalism particularly the folklorist vladimir prop no vladimir prop prop was the russian folklorist folklorism is one who studies folk tales lokakatha okay and prop you know is well known for morphology of the folk tale which was published in the year 1928 this book morphology of the of the folk tale charts basic plot motifs or patterns which are common to folk tales motifs means common elements common themes okay recurring motifs you are familiar with the term i suggest you to be in touch with literary terms and concepts to understand and all these things are available to you i have kept them available in canvas as well so it charts this props morphology of the folk tale charts basic plot motifs or patterns common to folk tales folk tales across the world not only in russia then todrow under the influence of russian formalism designates the specific elements of each plot on the model of the sentence as subject predicate and adjective so you are you fam you are familiar with syntactic elements a sentence has these elements i i am sure that you are studying these things in this semester in your paper 3 the elements of sentence or clause patterns so elements of clause you can see subject predicate complement adverbial are you taught these things in uh, your uh, paper 3 or you yes, are going to study okay i miss what uh, you are studying i don't know but these things are the part of uh, that paper so he followed this model so he organizes you know he designate the same uh, you know just uh, position to all these elements the way we study sentence so let's say that a plot is a kind of sentence okay just like uh, sentence in linguistics a grammar and the sentence has subject object predicate complement and uh, adverbs etc so he designates all these things to plot as well and in an effort to adopt the technical precision of linguistics he tries to bring that precision that preciseness of linguistics in the study of narrative he discerns the grammar okay discerns means he sees the grammar rather than semantic meaning of narrative so his focus is on what 
on the grammatical meaning. He he tried to come up with the grammar of narrative, not the semantic meaning of a narrative. So semantics is the study of meaning in language. So this is how we understand the influence of Russian formalism on Tardrow's approach to the study of narratives. So in our next lecture, we shall continue with the remaining part.